I'm Callie from Online Fabric Store. Since dye is one of the quickest and easiest ways to add color to a project or to an existing piece of fabric, today I'm going to be demonstrating a simple immersion technique using Rit Dyes. Rit Dye is great for all skill levels because it contains a mixture of several different types of dye, making it a really great option if you want to dye something that's a blend or contains multiple kinds of fibers. For this project you'll need Rit Dye in whatever colors you like, we're using navy and black, something to dye, in our case we're using a cotton bag, buckets, gloves, some salt, and something to stir with, like a stick or a spoon. So before you start, it's a pretty good idea to make sure that you have your workspace covered. So we just have a really cheap plastic drop cloth here. They're pretty easy to find at the hardware store, but anything you might have laying around your house is a good idea too. So a bed sheet or a canvas drop cloth or an old rag, just something to make sure that you're not getting dye everywhere. You also want to make sure that you have some gloves and an old hoodie or a t-shirt or an apron. Pre-washing your fabric will get you better dye coverage, so if you can, try not to skip this step. It's also useful if your material is still a little bit damp when you dye because it'll help soak up color faster and with fewer bubbles. When mixing dye colors, it's important to start with the lightest color first and slowly add in your black or darker shades. To make our dye bath, we're going to start with our navy blue Rit Dye. Since we're dyeing about a pound of fabric, we're going to add half of the container, since the container will dye up to two pounds of fabric. To get a darker shade of navy blue, like indigo, we're going to add just a splash of black. The last thing we want to do before we enter our fabric into the dye bath is add our salt. It's a good idea to use about a quarter cup per half pound of fabric. For this project, we're using about a gallon of water, just to get even coverage over our fabric. You want to make sure that there's enough water to cover your project easily and so that it can be fully immersed in the dye bath. Once our dye is mixed, we're going to drop our fabric in. Make sure to mush it all around and be sure that there are no bumps or bubbles in the fabric. That air will give you some inconsistencies which can be really pretty but ultimately are not what you're looking for with a full immersion dye bath. We're going to let this batch of fabric sit in there for about a half an hour so that we get a nice rich color. After about a half an hour of soaking, check on your fabric and see if it's reached your desired shade. When you're ready to remove your fabric, take it out and gently wring it back into the bucket to get off any excess dyes. To rinse, start with hot water. This will open up the fibers and make sure that you're able to rinse out all the dye. As the water starts to turn clear, begin to add some cold water. This transition into cold water will help the fibers shrink back up and lock in any remaining dye. Don't be afraid if the shade looks a little darker than what you wanted. Wet fabric always looks darker. And there you have it. You've added a fresh new color to some fabric. You can wash these any way you like. Rit Dye is really good at being steadfast in the wash, but if you're like me and you wanna keep them looking clean and pristine, you'll hand wash them gently in cold water. Thanks for watching this OFS project.